Okay, so in your cutting file, you're going to have all the pieces you need to make the assembly and the panels. So the first piece you're going to have is this piece here, which is scored in four places. So I'm using designer series paper by stamping up and it's double sided. So you just need to decide which one you're going to see, because basically you're going to stick your panels on this, but looking at the card from the top down, you'll be able to see in this case, one or other pattern. So I'm going to fold it so that this green is on the inside. So I'm just going to fold and burnish on each of the score lines that the scan and cut will put in for you. And then this small tab here is your glue tab and that's going to glue together like so. So from the top, this pattern, this green pattern is what I'm going to see. So I'm going to apply some adhesive on this thin section. So I'm just going to bring in my silicone mat because if I do go over the edge, the glue won't stick to the mat. And then I'm just gonna fold this in and press it down and burnish it. And then I'm just gonna go over all the four corners so that's the middle of my card so now I've got my four panels so again in the cutting file you'll have the four panels which are the bigger panels which I've cut in black and then you'll have four smaller panels which are matting layers and I've cut two in designer series paper and then I've cut two in white cardstock and I've stamped on them using the turtle friends which again is available in my stamping up shop so if you do follow me for stamping up products all these products are available in my online stamping up shop and the links will be underneath the video and this cutting file is a cutting file that i've made which is available on my website at applelover53.co.uk in the cutting file shop. So you'll be able to buy the cutting file and then you can buy the Stampin' Up products if you want to recreate it as it is. But you can, once you've got the cutting file, you can make this with any card, any paper, however you like. This style of card um, has been around before, but it's kind of having a bit of a, a comeback at the moment. And if you cut the center panel from paper, when it folds to fit in the envelope, it's not as bulky, but you can cut this from card as well if you prefer. It will just make the card a little bit more bulkier if you're going to be posting it. So what you need to do now is stick these panels onto these sections. So I'm going to flatten this down and I'm going to apply glue to this panel and I'm going to stick this first panel on it so that it butts up to the edge and it fits top and bottom. So I'm going to use some of my Stampin' Seal Plus for this because this is a nice, strong adhesive. Wet glue would be good. You'd get a little bit of wiggle room, but I'm just gonna go for it. So I'm literally just going to hold up the piece of black card to the edge of the inside panel and stick it down and then just burnish it. So that's my first panel on. Now I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to apply some adhesive here. And I'm going to bring in my next panel so for this one, I'm going to bring in the one with the turtle on and I'm going to do exactly the same. I'm going to come and line this edge of the black card with this edge of the inside tower. Just make sure I've got it in place before I stick it down. Then fold it over and burnish it. I'm going to bring in the next piece, which I'm doing in... the designer series paper. This one's gonna go on here like so, and then fold it over 
and position my last one. And then I'm just going to flip it over and I'm just going to keep rotating it and press down on all those layers and all those seams and then your card will stand up like so. This can be the front panel if you want or it can be the one that you may have decorated. It doesn't really matter. You can also put panels on here if you want to, although I've not included them in the cutting file, but they're just simple rectangles. It would be easy enough for you to add an extra layer there. You could put designer series paper or you could put white cardstock, whichever you want. So this is how your card will stand. It folds flat. It will fit in a standard UK a6 envelope so you could decorate the envelope to match but that is the pinwheel tower card cutting file as i say which is available in my online shop so when your recipient opens it you've got decoration you've got sections on all four panels that you can decorate or you can um write on so please head over to my website www.applelover53.co.uk click on the cutting files tab and that will take you to my online shop where you can purchase the cutting file and there in the youtube video description there will be links to all the products that i've used if you want to buy them from my stamping up shop so i hope you like that video thank you and i'll see you in the next video bye